I love being a Disney princess. Hello, tomatoes. How are you today? I'm fantastic. <laughs> today is a cooking day. I know y'all have been asking for more DIY videos, so here you go, queen. Anything for you, your highness. <laughs> but for real, I like to entertain you guys. I like to listen to what you want, so here you go. Today, I am making a ramen hot pocket. Oh! This idea came to me, I think, in the shower. I was just thinking, like, what can I make that sounds delicious? And then I thought Hot Pockets are always good. And then I thought Ramen's always good. I was like, Ramen Hot Pocket! I was probably washing like my butthole or something when I thought of it because that's when I get inspiration. <laughs> so yes, I'm going to literally make a ramen crust, well, ramen flavored crust with a ramen filling. And it's gonna, I think it's gonna taste amazing. Y'all might think, ooh, this is gonna be gross, but I literally am making this because I think it's gonna taste good. I got my ramen. Not sponsored. <laughs> Before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a juicy red tomato and hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Y'all should do it for real. I'm just saying, if you wanna stay in the tomato loop. I don't know why, I just got like an image of a tomato hula hooping. And there was juice flying everywhere. Pure art. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at our ingredients, y'all. This is gonna be very homemade, very like flowery and buttery. I got here some butter. I got some salt iodized. I don't know what that means, but it's a fancy word. This salt supplies iodine, a necessary nutrient. <laughs> Who knew that salt was a nutrient? <laughs> well, iodized salt is, I guess. Well, I don't know, don't take my word for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I got sugar, sweeten things up, flour, Dry things up. <laughs> I got food coloring, which I might possibly use. I haven't made my mind up yet. And I got a whole lot of ramen, noodles, and flavorings for days. Okay, let's begin. So, I'm going to first make my crust. This is going to be a ramen flavored crust. I'm going to start by, what do I do first? Okay, I'm gonna take my flour, all purpose. Like I always say, the Justin Bieber flour. Is that joke old yet? Take some of the beads. I'm gonna fill this up. Bam! Flour, perfect. And now, I'm going to add to my flour a packet of seasoning from my ramen noodle. So this is the beef flavor, by the way. Beef is my favorite flavor. I don't know about y'all, but the beef is the best. I'm sorry, the chicken just kinda tastes basic, but the beef really has some depth. Like you can taste the cow. So I'm literally just going to open this up, pour it into my flour, and this is gonna give the crust all that ramen-y flavor, hopefully. There's more in there, what? Okay. I was about to say, damn, this is a conspiracy. Why does my ramen noodle packet never go empty? I wish. So I'm gonna quickly mix this up. Okay, so. This smells like a cooked ramen noodle. I don't know why, but the flour kind of smells like the noodle part. So with the sauce packet in it, it smells like a ramen noodle, like a cooked one. I love it, y'all. I'm just gonna eat this. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I found out don't eat flour unless if it's cooked. Apparently, some online articles say that it's risky. So just cook everything before you eat it. Y'all, this is random, but this always comes to my mind whenever I think of vegans. I'm like, okay, y'all, I, I like truly think vegans are right. I don't think that we're meant to eat animals. That's still not gonna stop me from eating them. I'm so sorry, I'm just trained to do it. <laughs> you know what I thought about the other day? I was like, if we were meant to eat like animals, why is it dangerous to eat them unless if we like cook their flesh? Does that make sense? Like why is it dangerous to eat raw chicken? It's like literally poisonous sometimes. You know what I mean? If we don't cook it. So it's like, you know, it's like, I don't know. I feel like, is that stupid? Is that stupid logic? Anyways, I was just thinking that to myself the other day and I was like, damn, vegans are living that life. They right. I'm just not strong enough to do it. <laughs> Cue all the vegans in the comments saying, Timmy, I believe in you. You can do this. Just start with grass and go from there. <laughs> Y'all, you guys are, are honestly wonderful people. I think the vegans are great people. I just don't think I could do it. Y'all, I just mixed that for like 10 minutes, didn't I? I'm thorough. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Yes, make it rain. Sonia! And now I'm gonna add a tiny, tiny little bit of sugar. Like a little crummy. Oh, 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 ew! There's little black things in it. Why me? Okay, now I'm just gonna mix this up. Set cheeks in your face, in your mouth. Not gonna shake my fist. I'm thinking something more damn self. No dis- Perfect. So now is the part where it's gonna kind of become crust. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
a stick of butter. I'm gonna get a little plate, one second. So I'm opening my butter, and I'm literally just going to cut it into like small pieces, as small as I can. And yes, I do know touching butter is just the grossest feeling ever, but gotta do it. Mm. Oh, I love that. I always imagine like a turd being the texture of butter. <laughs> just slice right through it, you know? I don't, <laughs> I don't know why. Ain't about my pussy, this about my buns. You gonna feel it miles away. So I have a bunch of little slices here. How pretty, you guys. That is so good. Now I'm literally just gonna slice down the middle. I should have done that first, right? Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn it over. <laughs> this is so disgusting. And I'm gonna slice down this way. So we have little squares, love. And you know, I'm just gonna keep slicing even more. Make the squares even tinier, why not? It'll incorporate easier into the flour that way. So now I'm literally just gonna take my bowl and I'm gonna take my hands that God gave me, thank you, Lord. And I'm literally just going to crumble all these tiny little squares of butter into the flour all over it. This is just honestly going to help so much with getting the butter completely mixed into this flour because if you just put a damn stick in there, it's never gonna happen, y'all. Y'all, I feel like this is the American dream. Butter rain. <laughs> Me. I'm just gonna get this completely incorporated. But before that, let me give y'all a better angle. Okay. <laughs> that slide though. That is smooth. So y'all can see that a little better. <laughs> I'm just gonna dig in with my hands and just start squishing everything together just like so. And yes, my hands are very cracked, very crusty. So I'm just literally just gonna kind of roll the butter around in my hands until it just crumbles into really small butter blobs. Now take your time with this, it could take a while. A bitch don't try to run. There's a big fat crack, but it ain't in the earth. My anus hole is gonna open up and swallow your turd. Okay, so do y'all see how it's literally just one big crummy consistency and if you like hold it together it sticks That's exactly what I want. It's like the beginning of a pie crust. This is legit perfect So now the question is should I add food coloring or not? If I do, I want to add orange food coloring because like, I want it to have that like ramen vibe, you feel me? You know what? I think I will. Let me just go cray cray. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go and get some cold water. Oh my god, wait, pause! You can see the little, the little green ramen things, the little like seasonings in the ramen thingy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Okay, that's so cute. Okay, so I got a little bit of water here. And to this water, I'm going to add some bright orange food coloring. <gasps> yes, a lot. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly mix that up. Perfect, so now I have orange water, and I'm just going to very slowly add a little bit to my pie crust, and that should start to change the consistency a bit. So I'm just gonna go in with my hands again, I don't care. Okay, I think this is pretty much as mixed as it's gonna get for now. It's a little swirly, but that's okay. Um, so I'm just going to pop this into the fridge, just in like a little ball form, while I make my filling. Y'all, this is a lot like Play-Doh, I'm kinda shook. It's a very smooth, nice pie crust. Y'all, I just realized that I've been calling this Hot Pocket Dough <laughs> pie crust the whole video. <laughs> that's because it is essentially a pie crust, but I forgot to explain that, so. There's the explanation. Now we're gonna make our noodles. So I'm literally just gonna take a block of noodles, pop it in there. So now I'm just going to add water to this and cook it in the microwave just like you would a normal ramen noodle soup, you know, until all the noodles are nice and soft and tender, like my heart. In these next three minutes, I'm going to clean up. <laughs> That's gonna stain. <laughs> There's some food coloring on the counter. <laughs> That's okay. I don't need my house to look like someone lives in it. Fork into the sink. Honestly, it gives you a thumbs up if you think that I would be the best mom ever. <laughs> or dad, it's 2018. Dads can clean up the damn kitchen. Make yourself a damn sandwich, bastard. <laughs> my noodles are about to be done, so I'm gonna prepare my little plate. You'll see what I'm gonna do. I'm just putting some paper towels down onto the plate. And I'm just gonna, ooh, bring my noodles right here. I'm just gonna transfer all of my noodles, fork by fork, to my paper plates. 
so that they can cool off quicker while also draining off all the agua. Let me sit down so you can see me and not just my hip. My love handle. I feel like people don't appreciate their love handles enough because they see thin people and they don't have love handles. But guess what? They're called love handles for a reason. Someone's gonna grab on. Okay, let me dump out. Oof, ha ha ha. Don't do that at home. So now I'm just gonna let my noodles just kind of sit there, calm down, relax. Over there. Now I'm gonna make my coating for them. This is gonna be kind of like my ramen pie that I made. I made this like pie that had like a Takis crust and stuff like that. It's gonna be almost like that, but different because it's in a hot pocket. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take one single egg and I'm just gonna crack it into my little bowl right here. What lovely chicken veggies! And now I'm just gonna take my little egg and I'm gonna whisk it up until it's completely like scrambled. Perfect. So I have a little scrambled egg right here. I'm now going to open up another ramen noodle and I'm just gonna put a packet of the beef flavoring into here to give the filling flavor just like the crust. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Now I'm just going to ooh, mix the seasoning straight into the egg until we have one even mixture. I don't want to see any blobs. That's disgusting. The most disgusting thing that I've ever encountered is biting down on a macaroni and cheese powder blob. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Some people like them, I've heard, and I'm like, that literally makes me want to throw up. And so whenever I make like instant mac and cheese, I literally just like stir it until I don't see one single mac and cheese blob. And if you don't do that, I just cannot trust you. Just kidding. I love you. Watch my videos. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we have a dirty looking egg here. It looks like that yolk had a little diarrhea attack in the shell. Okay, I'm just gonna drop my noodles into this mixture and they're not hot anymore. They're just like a little bit warm. So it shouldn't cook the egg. If it does, I'll be very surprised. And then I'll have a scrambled diarrhea egg. So I'm just gonna toss this until all the noodles are completely coated. I'm just going slow, being patient about it because I'm grown. By the way, y'all do not eat this until it's cooked because this is raw egg. It's I can see you cookie dough eaters eyeing this. <laughs> Being like, ooh, that looks good, got a little taste. No, not till it's cooked. This is perfect. So, now's the fun part. We make a hot pocket. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take some wax paper. I ran out of parchment paper. I forgot to buy it at the store. So, I have to use this. I don't usually use wax paper. I think it's slimy. I like parchment paper a lot better. But I gotta, I gotta go with the flow. So I'm just gonna take some wax paper. And then I'm gonna take my dough, which is just such a perfect ball, and just pop it on here. Ooh. And now I'm just going to roll it out into a thin layer. Anyone can twerk as long as they believe it. Your ass will not be so small. It might be gaping. We have our ramen flavor hot pocket crust right here. So I'm just going to get a little, a little bit of knife. And I'm literally just going to cut out like rectangular shapes. I need two of them. One has to be a little bit bigger because it's the top part and it has to kind of cover more. So this is going to be the top one. This is going to be a decently sized hot pocket, y'all. And then the bottom one's going to be a little bit smaller. I'm going to now add my filling. Ooh! Not all of it, obviously. I'm just going to add this straight to... Oh my god. This is too much. Mm. Stop it. So as you can see, I added the eggy, slimy noodles onto the bottom of my hot pocket, just like that. That's perfect actually and just kind of like compact it and squish it together so that there's space to you know pinch the two crusts together so now i'm gonna do is take my bigger crust which is almost falling apart and i'm just going to put it on top of this and now i'm just going to pinch around the edges just like this and make the two crusts become one so that nothing leaks out when it's in the oven. Well, oh, this is actually gonna be pretty nice, I think, y'all. So now, oh my God, guys, it's working. I'm just going to cut along the edges and make straight lines, just, you know, for appearances. So now I'm just gonna get rid of all this excess. Come here. Perfect, oh my God, I'm so excited. <gasps> now I'm gonna take a very crusty pan, this one to be exact and I'm just going to Pamela the hell out of it. Because I am all out of my parchment paper, like I said before, so all I got is Pamela. Break! Now I'm gonna very carefully move this 
to the pan. How am I gonna do that? If I like, come on, just peel off. Yes, <gasps> that was magnificent. Oh, yay! Y'all don't know how delicate this thing is, so that was very scary. So now I'm going to pop this into the oven. I cannot wait to see it when it's done. I think it's gonna be delicious. I'm gonna let it cook until the crust looks completely golden brown and done and the eggs on the inside are completely cooked <laughs> and then it will be time to eat. This is such a fun experiment. We're going into the crusty oven with our crusty pan and our crusty life. <laughs> Put it in. Be careful, use oven mitts at home. Goodbye. Look who's out of the oven. Oh my God, y'all, there's steam coming out of the two holes. Do y'all see that? I don't know if you can. Do you see that? Oh my God, I don't wanna burn myself. <laughs> Do y'all see the steam? Do you see it? You see it. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's fogging me up. But y'all is that not beautiful? It kept its shape perfectly. I'm shook. I'm snatched. I'm ready to cut into this. Y'all, I forgot the camera was off <laughs> and I cut into it without you guys seeing me cut into it. But look, the crust kept its shape yet yeah, it's crumbly. So I think it's the perfect combination. It smells like a salty cookie, which I'm very excited about because it smells really good. But literally like a salty shortbread. Mm, I'm ready to taste it. So the crust I can already tell is not the same texture as a Hot Pocket crust. I guess that I shouldn't have made like a pie crust, but that was what I knew how to make. So I was like, I'll just make that. But I think that the Hot Pocket crust is something different than a pie crust, but whatever. Anyways, hopefully this tastes good. It tastes like a ramen. All the noodles have just kind of compressed into a big noodle blob, which I love. I'm excited to taste that. <laughs> now I'm kind of scared. It doesn't look very appetizing right now. Hmm. Very interesting. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I should have definitely used a different kind of crust than a pie crust because it, it does taste like a sweet pie crust for some reason. I don't taste the beef flavoring in the crust at all, so I should have added more of that. And the noodles, I, I don't know. All I taste is saltiness. I don't really taste that much flavor which I'm kind of shocked by because I put a lot of powder in the noodles. It's definitely not bad, but if I made it again, I would change some things up to make it taste better and to enhance it. But it could have been way worse. Not disgusting, which is not the best thing ever, you know? Y'all, leave a comment and let me know what else you want me to make. Make it crazy, but also delicious sounding, you feel me? If you watch this whole video, you're the truest tomato in all the patch, and so I know who you are. Leave a comment that says, ew, I just spit. Don't say that. <laughs> Leave a comment that says, a pocket full of ramen? Yes! <laughs> also, y'all, go check out my newest videos. I taste the Domino's menu, but like not pizza, like the other stuff, you feel me? And I did a dollar store food haul, and I tasted Cheesecake Factory appetizers, and I made a Flaming Hot Cheetos pizza. So go check all those videos out. They should all be popping up around here. And subscribe to become a tomato. I'll see you on the next video. I love you so much. Oh, mama.